Hello YouTube model community, Phil here at Horton's Hot Rush Up. Today I'm going to give the, I guess, final on the KMA Senior Group Build. Hosted there by Brian over at Got Fuels. I'm going to show this one more time. This is my original re Prepared build of the boot hill from quite a while ago. Uh, just a basic build. So that one got built and then got repainted because I didn't like the color. And then the little wagon got built back there in the background. I bought this one recently down at the Detroit show. And like I said before, this one's set in my local hobby shop for years uh, kind of haunted me a little bit for the first few times I've seen it so I had to build one so I built my version of it uh, same concept based on the same vehicle just I mine's a little longer A little bit different motor configuration. Stacks just run straight up. All right, for the exhaust. Well, this did start out life as a boot hill back half there. And so did that one. And that one. But this one actually has a driver in it. And that's always made me made me like it a little bit more. So I'm gonna move you off over here for a second, guys. Move some stuff around. Alright. That being said. focus in a little better there is my senior group build tribute build uh, little trailers made out of a boot hill parts uh, I was gonna make something else out of it so I cut the curtains out I decided to do something a little bit different with some lace there uh, the lace itself is actually gold colored sprayed with a metallic red and a pink and then a clear red to get it that color. Uh, the roof does have a little warp in it so I'm going to have to do a little work to get that fixed eventually. A uh, little turn signals down there in the back. I'm not even sure what kit they come out of but they're along the same lines as the turn signals and tail lights and stuff that are on the bottom of the coach itself. Uh, <clears throat> put red tail lights in the tops up there. It's got a straight axle instead of an axle mounted on the leaf springs. Uh, it has no hole for a motor no more that was taken out and patched. Uh, the rails Coffin side rails there. There's no crossbars in them. In fact, the front and very rear one are just little chrome posts. I actually have a fire truck kick. They're little uh, beacon lights. The center ones are just finial looking things. They're pretty cool. But uh, Made a tongue to go into it. Tied it into the back. As far as the coach itself goes, uh, I was missing the, the chrome rails there, so I stole them out of one of my other ones. I had a little white wagon in there. I'll figure out something else to do with that eventually. This is probably the most complete boot hill I've got, other than the skeleton. 
but I have one of them that goes with the gold one that I'll probably put with this one. Uh, I really like the way it turned out with the leather, brown leather, the red chassis, all the chrome trinkets, motor is, or the engine is wired. It's kind of hard to see it through the glass. May not even focus. Yeah, a little bit there. Uh, fuel tank, I put a finial or a spinner style tank cap on it. Uh, bottom is just basic. Take me a second here to get the, to unhook the trailer. I have not set the trailer on the way to the tongue yet, so. Uh, so at the bottom it's kind of basic. The headers have some bluing, some yellow, some red. Um, where they're changing colors and a little bit of black up towards the top where it'd be all burnt out pretty heavy. Uh, very fun build. I'd love to have seen Terry build one. You can see the blue on them a little bit. Did the red curtains and the silver fringe, I guess, on the bottom. Uh, still working on yet another piece. I'll probably sit with it when it's done. It's my spare motor. Or spare engine for it. I gotta get it all finished up. This is just a me project. So uh, getting ready here tomorrow morning to go down to this show. Five dollar admission. It says 10 to 3 on this sheet. So on their webpage it says 10 to 4 on that. So I'm not sure which one it is. I'm going to go check that out anyway. That's my collection of Boot Hill stuff anyway. I got the one chrome rail there that's got to go back in that one. Still have one kit that is complete. It's a 1967 edition kit. Oh, it's a yellow plastic. Bought it as a bag kit. It's in the box now, so it's complete. I have parts for a bunch of them still. Uh, no bodies or nothing, just a couple of spare frames. I've got a spare top, a bunch of these seats, and the front pieces there. I'll build something with them. Uh, all this glass in both of these was cut from that shield I was talking about. I got. There's a lot of plastic in one of them. Still got a whole great big chunk of it. Uh, did both sides on both of these. Both back glasses on them. Uh, not really much to see from the front. Lights are mounted on the top of the axle down there. Even went as far as putting a little handle on. But all that glass is cut from that shield. You see the plug wires through the back window pretty good. But I think all together it's got a good look. A little bit of fun getting this on there. And you pan back and put my fingers in the camera. And got pretty much the same rake to the trailer as it does the unit itself, so I think it works. Uh, 
for any of you guys that are into show rods, this is definitely a show rod overload with Boot Hill stuff. I said that was my creation to follow the other one. This is using a little yeller school bus for the front half and frame and motor. Crafting in a Boot Hill back half. Top, I believe is the little yeller on mine all the way back and the top on the other one is actually part of a boot hill and a little yeller so he's added some little red lights at the back up on top put red tanks on it things like that that was just a matter of gluing it back together. It was still really cool. I'm not sure how we got them little skulls in there. That are on there, but that is super cool. Alright guys, I'm going to go ahead and call this one done. Hope I can see some of you guys down there at the show. Craig, Tony... Paul's supposed to go. I'm going to go pick him up in the morning. Uh, sorry about the shaky cam. Kind of a lot going on with this. Uh, I have a whole bunch of builds in that theme there with the little yellers. So eventually I'll get to them. Uh, i got to get the stacks put on that motor yet that'll take me all about 20 minutes probably all right all my subscribers thank you uh, if you're seeing this for the first time and like this kind of stuff this is what i build uh, doesn't cost you a dime to watch give me a thumbs up like subscribe comment enjoy reading the comments And that being said, I'm going to go ahead and call this one done.